Hello everyone. I'm diving deep into a critical issue that affects many, yet remains under the spotlight only when tensions flare up. Today, we explore the ongoing crisis in Zimbabwe and the potential role of SADC in mediating this conflict. In Zimbabwe, the political landscape is marked by intense struggles and calls for change. The main opposition leader, Nelson Chamisa, has been vocally pushing for SADC-mediated talks with President Emerson Menengagwa. Chamisa's goal? To address the severe economic crises that force many Zimbabweans to flee their homeland in search of better opportunities. We have the best country, we have the richest country, we have the most beautiful country in the world, and the people themselves are beautiful and have kind hearts, Chamisa once said. Despite these riches, the nation faces significant hardships, which Chamisa believes can be alleviated through dialogue and unity. However, the situation is complicated. Historical elections, like the one recently where Menangagwa was re-elected with just over half the votes, have been fraught with controversy and claims of illegitimacy. Chamisa contested these results, highlighting a deep-seated distrust in the political process and the bodies that govern it. The response from neighboring countries, particularly South Africa, has been cautiously diplomatic, reflecting the delicate balance between maintaining relations and supporting democratic principles. This cautious stance often raises questions about the effectiveness and neutrality of regional powers in such conflicts. SADC's involvement, or lack thereof, has been a point of contention. Critics argue that the community's role has been overshadowed by accusations of legitimizing authoritarian regimes rather than fostering genuine democratic transitions. This brings us to a crucial question. Can SADC truly mediate this conflict effectively? Or are their efforts too little, too late? The answer isn't simple. While SADC has the potential to facilitate meaningful dialogue, the success of such mediation heavily depends on the commitment of all parties to engage earnestly and prioritize the well-being of the Zimbabwean people over political agendas. In conclusion, as Zimbabwe stands at this crossroad, the role of international bodies like SADC, coupled with the internal resolve of its citizens, will be pivotal in shaping the country's future. The hope for a peaceful resolution remains, but it requires genuine collaboration and a steadfast refusal to accept easy answers to complex problems. Thank you for tuning in, and let's keep the conversation going. What are your thoughts on the role of SADC in Zimbabwe's political crisis?